Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Malligator Mom, on another beautiful Saturday morning here in Nashville. Uh, today's video is meant for those of you who might be new to the Belgian Malinois breed. So perhaps you're thinking about getting a Malinois for the first time, or maybe you've actually already gotten your puppy and you're not quite sure where to start. So today's video is going to be four fast facts that will help put you on the right track with your Belgian Malinois puppy. Let's get started. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Number one, you need to be crate training your puppy. Crate training is so, so important. Do not wait to get this started. This should be going on from the day you bring your puppy home. They should be introduced to a crate. There are lots of really amazing videos already on YouTube that really break down how to successfully crate train a dog. This ties directly into um, how successful you're gonna be and how quick you're gonna be successful when it comes to potty training. So I'm not gonna make a video on that. There's tons of great videos already out there on YouTube. So if you want more information on how how to crate train your dog, then just, um, you know, search that up on YouTube. You're going to find a lot of great videos out there already. A crate is also an amazing tool when it comes to setting boundaries in the home. Uh, your puppy should not have free roam of your house. If you can't watch your Malinois puppy, then he shouldn't be out. If you're not watching him, he should be in a crate. Crates also just give your dog a safe place to be. It's like having a bedroom. It's no different if you're a mom with a baby and you put your baby uh, in a walker or in a playpen or you put your baby in a bumbo chair, right? Or a high chair and you put them someplace where they are safe so that you can go do the things that you need to do. It's no different. Crates are not abusive. Um, it's okay if your puppy cries it out for a few nights. And it's actually also okay if you just go ahead and throw a blanket over the front of the crate. Um, it's okay if the dog hears you, but if you're having a hard time with your puppy quieting down and not whining in the crate, go ahead and put something over the front of that crate so that the puppy is blocked from a lot of like visual, uh, visual stimuli. That will help. Number two, and perhaps the most important on this entire list. So if you take nothing else away from this list, listen to this one. No free food. You should be hand feeding your Malinois puppy. You can be using these sessions as an opportunity to practice obedience. So basic skills like sit down, uh, place, those types of things can be used to teach during your feeding sessions. So use those opportunities, use those meal times to hand feed your dog using the kibble as the reward, as the motivation for obedience sessions. Hand feeding also teaches your dog that all good things come from you. And that is vitally important when it comes to building a bond with your dog and establishing a hierarchy. This also goes a long way in preventing bad behaviors down the road, such as resource guarding with their food. And that's the perfect segue into number three. And that is, what is number three? Oh yeah, work on the fundamentals right away. So like I said, use these uh, sessions and start working on the fundamentals right away from eight weeks old. You should be able to lure your dog um, into position. And that's what I mean by luring and fundamentals. So we're really just not even associating words at this young age, but we are using the kibble, using our hands as targets to manipulate and lure our dogs into positions such as sit and down. Um, we're working on recall and name recognition at this time. And I actually have a bunch of videos, um, probably a little further back on my grid, when I was working with Storm, uh, my Belgian Malinois puppy, on a lot of these things. So if you want to see them in action, then check out those videos. And finally, I am a huge advocate of working with a professional trainer. So if you do not already have a trainer on your radar, I highly suggest you start that research now. You should be working with a professional from day one. When my puppy was eight weeks old, I had a session scheduled that week when I brought my puppy home. And these sessions have continued through his entire life. So we go out there at least once a week, sometimes twice a week um, to do their training. Now we do train in personal protection. And so we've kind of evolved from obviously the basic obedience that you're gonna be working on with your puppy into you know different tiers of training, different sports, different hobbies. There's lots of things that you can get involved in. So make sure that you research a trainer, research a club. It's a lot of fun. Your Malinois puppy is definitely gonna need something to do. You're going to need to have um, 
you know, a sport or some kind of job or some kind of outlet for their drive. And you need to provide this for your puppy right away. So if you don't already have a professional trainer in your wheelhouse, it is vitally important that you do. I personally could not have done this successfully if I had not worked with a professional trainer from day one. I attribute all of my success um, to working with my professional trainer. So I can't stress it enough. It's really, really important. You're working with a Belgian Malinois and these are not like other dogs. So, you know, there are a lot of great trainers on YouTube and there's a lot of great resources, training resources and videos on the internet available. And that's wonderful, especially during COVID when we can't really do a lot of in-person sessions. But you need to make sure that you are taking that extra step to getting in-person training um, with your Malinois puppy. YouTube videos and that kind of thing are great, but they're only gonna take you so far. So please make sure that you have the funds available and the time commitment available to work with a professional trainer with your Malinois puppy. It really is the surest path to success. And before I let you go, I do wanna just take a minute to have um, an honest moment with you guys, speaking very candidly. There are going to be moments with your Belgian Malinois puppy where you feel like, what the hell have I done? I do not want this puppy. I'm in over my head. Uh, I should take this puppy back to the breeder. I wanna drop this puppy off at the shelter. Um, you know, it's, it's too much. I, I regret this decision. You will hit that wall with your Malinois puppy. And we all do, we just don't all tell you about it. So let me tell you, you are not alone. You will have those days, you will be discouraged. You will um, wanna pull your hair out sometimes and that's okay. I want to reassure you that if you are struggling, you are not alone. These dogs can be a bit much sometimes and they're very challenging. But I do wanna just encourage you to stick with it because these are, the most amazing dogs I've ever had in my life. Um, I've had lots of other breeds, German Shepherds, Springer Spaniels, Labs um, in my lifetime, but Belgian Malinois have really stolen my heart. I really think that they are an amazing breed. They're very special. They have a lot to offer. Not only are they just incredibly drivey and tenacious um, and athletic, but they also are amazing companions. They truly are people dogs. They can be all of that for you. They can be all of it. They can be everything. A lot of people limit the breed um, and I, I think that that just is wrong. I, I, I always push back against that. They can be both. So um, stick with it. If you're feeling discouraged, you know, reach out to me. You can send me a DM on Instagram. Um, you know, a TikTok here on YouTube, whatever. I will try to get back to you. I do get a lot of messages, but I do try to respond uh, to most of them. So, you know, if you're feeling discouraged, stick with it. It's, it's absolutely worth it. All the time spent over the last several years working with my dogs, I don't regret a second of it. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. Right now that's typically every Saturday at 9am central. Um, I also go live on TikTok right before I do this video. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you do that. Uh, I go live with the puppies. Um, at least once a week, sometimes more than that. I do giveaways live on TikTok. I connect you guys with um, lots of freebies and stuff from different companies that are sending product my way. And I like to be able to share it with you guys. So make sure you follow us on TikTok. Come hang out with us when we do our live videos. We have a lot of fun. And I will see you guys here same time next week.